After 10 years as a judge on the Britain's Got Talent panel, comedian David Walliams decided to step down from his role alongside Simon Cowell, Alicia Dixon, and Amanda Holden. However, with a new series filming underway, long-standing hosts Ed McPartlin and Declan Donnelly were reportedly apprehensive over David's absence. The 51-year-old comedian turned children's author made the decision to leave the talent series weeks following his foul-mouthed comments about former contestants had emerged. Private conversations were recorded of David, which heard him making derogatory and explicit remarks about people on the show. Despite issuing a public apology at the time, the former Little Britain star decided to bow out of his judging position with Strictly Come Dancing judge Bruno Tonioli being confirmed as his replacement. Although, hosts Ant and Deck confessed they were worried about the new series with David no longer being part of the show. Speaking in a new interview, Ant touched on his friendship with the comedian, explaining, We text a lot, we see him socially. He added to HuffPost UK, so, we were really kind of apprehensive about starting this new series. But on the first day of auditions, we thought, we've got to just treat Bruno like the new guy and be kind to him. Despite previously being a judge on Strictly Come Dancing, Bruno told Anton Deck he was really nervous to be on Britain's Got Talent. Touching on Bruno's nerves, Ant stated he was shocked due to him still being part of the American series Dancing with the Stars. And added, he's no stranger to big TV shows. So I felt sorry for him, but I thought it showed real humility. We were just kind to him. We laughed at him when he made mistakes but tried to show him the ropes a bit. However, it looks as though Bruno has been settling in since arriving on the show as it's been rumored the 67-year-old has been causing chaos on set. After admitting he'd never watched the show, it's been reported that he broke the rules by pressing his golden buzzer twice. Usually, each judge on the panel is given one opportunity to press the buzzer at the front of the table for an act they think deserves it. Once they've pressed it, it automatically sends auditionees through to the live finals, although Bruno wasn't aware he could only use it once. It's said producers then had to make a decision on whether or not to allow the contestant on stage to go through or avoid the second buzz. An unnamed source began, it was madness. The buzzer worked but there was no glitter in the cannon above the stage as it had already been used up. A producer raced over to try to tell Bruno he couldn't do that. Then there were discussions with the top execs and Simon, Cowell, who had his head in his hands, they added to the sun. However, despite the mishap, it's believed Bruno has been a hit with the live audiences at auditions after accepting the position 11 days before filming began. Britain's Got Talent is set to return later this year.